Okay, so we have a um, pales contraction followed by a um, passive range hold for hip flexion. So we're, you're gonna be seated in a seated pistol and your long leg is gonna sit on one yoga block on the short side. You're gonna need both yoga blocks for this. So from here, you're gonna tuck this knee in towards the chest. Make sure both of your glutes are planted and seated. From here, you're gonna get nice and tall, straighten out this leg, then you're gonna take the heel of the, of the long leg and dig it down into the block for 10 seconds. So you're pushing down for 10 seconds and slowly pressing harder and harder. So it's like you're trying to do a hamstring curl without actually doing a hamstring curl. So at the end of the 10 seconds, you're gonna brace and irradiate in your belly and move nothing but the leg. So from here, you're gonna lift the leg up as high as you can and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Put it back down. Notice how when I lifted my leg, I didn't lean back. Keep that. We're gonna do this three to four more times, but I'm just gonna do it one or two more times just so you can see how the progression goes, because there's more after this. You're gonna push down again and try to bend your knee against the block. So dig the knee down, not the knee, the heel, and try to smush the block down into the floor while squeezing your knee, staying tall and irradiating and slowly pushing a little bit harder and harder and harder. You should feel your hamstrings light up a little bit. Then irradiate, brace, lift the leg, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. You're gonna do that two to three more times on your own. Then flip it so it's on the slightly longer side. Then you're gonna put your foot back on the block. Everything stays the same. The only difference is that when you lift your, lift your leg, there's gonna be only a small distance between your heel and the block. So we're just challenging you progressively. From here, again, push down into the block, stay tall, dig the heel down. It's gonna be a little harder to create the same amount of tension than uh, the one before because you had a little bit more range, so you have more, more control in mid-ish ranges. So push harder, push, and try to smush the block and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Brace, lift your leg up, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, breathe. One more time. Press down into the block, hold for 10, nine, push a little harder, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift your leg again, hold, five, four, three, two, one. Slow on the way down. Okay, now, being that from here and on, it's a lot more difficult and most people don't really have this range and if they do they have more passive than active so instead of me doing that which is going to add quite a bit of range i'm thinking that i just do this all right so that's not that bad whereas before i was planning on doing something like that which is a bit too high so Two blocks, stack them. Hopefully you have the blocks that are about four inches and not the blocks that are like two inches. But regardless, we'll work with what we have. So again, put your foot on the blocks. Same position, nice and tall. Don't let yourself slump forward or um, turtle shell your upper back. Squeeze your right knee in towards the chest. Dig your left heel into the blocks and hold for 10, nine, eight. Feel your hamstrings, six, five, four, Three, two, one, brace, irradiate, lift off, flex your foot, hold, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. All right, so there you go.